Well, it's the Easter season, and for a lot of people, that means peeps, Easter eggs, jelly beans, and big chocolate rabbits. By the way, it's always good if you can get your Easter candy to match your clothes. That way, when you make a mess, it's less likely to show. You probably heard the chocolate candy is actually good for you. So let's take a look at that topic today. We get chocolate from the cocoa tree, and most of it comes from Western Africa. Cocoa comes in pods, and when you cut the pods open, you get 30 to 50 seeds, or what's called cocoa beans. When you roast those beans, you remove the fat, and you produce the cocoa powder that you can buy in the grocery store. That's the best, healthiest way to get cocoa. But now when you take that cocoa powder and add some sugar to it, and some fat back into it, what does that give you? That's right, a big chocolate Easter bunny. The good news about natural cocoa is that it contains antioxidants called flavonoids. These are the same antioxidants that you also find in other good foods like peas and beans. Since the news came out that cocoa contains these good substances, chocolate candy sales have gone up almost 50%. But bean sales haven't gone up at all. You probably know some chocoholics, but no beanaholics. It's important to remember that the higher the cocoa content in chocolate, the darker the chocolate. And the darker the chocolate, the more good antioxidants it contains. And the darker the chocolate, the more bitter it is, too. Have you ever mistakenly eaten Baker's chocolate? Let me ask you, how many times did you do that? Just once. It's very bitter, and it's very high in those antioxidants. But sometimes too much of a good thing is too much. Now, this is important. If you're going to actually get any potential health benefits out of eating chocolate, the product must contain at least 70% cocoa content. So here are some examples. You can see this particular brand, Lint, comes in 70, 85, and 90% cocoa content. You can find products like this in most grocery stores. As you know, the higher the cocoa content, the more bitter it becomes. I eat the 90%, but please remember, I'm a dietitian not a real person. Most chocolate candy is what's called milk chocolate. It contains some source of milk and its cocoa content is actually pretty low. On the other hand, the healthier dark chocolate does not contain any milk products and has a much higher amount of cocoa. And it's got some health benefits. By the way, white chocolate doesn't have any of these good for you ingredients. So if you're eating white chocolate, you're just eating candy. You can't make any health claims about white chocolate. And while we're talking chocolate, caffeine is not an issue. The caffeine that you would get, for example, in a regular Hershey chocolate candy bar would be the same as you would get in one cup of decaf coffee. Decaf coffee. In other words, insignificant. The buzz that you get when you eat chocolate is not coming from the caffeine. By the way, it doesn't take much chocolate to get these health benefits either. The American Medical Association found that eating just 30 calories of dark chocolate per day can actually lower blood pressure a little without causing a weight gain or negatively affecting blood cholesterol or blood sugar levels. 30 calories of dark chocolate comes out to be about the fourth of an ounce of chocolate. Do you know how much a fourth of an ounce of chocolate is? It's this amount you see right here, about a little less than one of those squares you find in one of those large bars. Eating more than that does not give you more health benefits just more calories. Here's my opinion. I don't think people care about the health benefits of chocolate. What they really want is permission to eat chocolate and not feel guilty about it. The problem is that 70% of America is overweight and struggling with their waistline. What we don't want to do is start endorsing candy as a health food. On the other hand, cocoa is a health food, but you don't need much of it. So chocolate candy can be good for you if it contains enough cocoa. Most chocolate candy especially at Easter time, doesn't have enough. But it sure tastes good. I'm in the mind. I'll see you next time. <laughs> David Mines has presented to audiences from Denver to Dubai and from Kansas City to Kuwait City. He'll deliver a program for your group that will inspire them to experience a higher level of health and energy, and they'll laugh while they learn. Contact us today for more details on inviting David Mines to speak to your group.